In 1988, Sodic started development of the injection molding machine as one of the businesses of Sodic, a manufacturer of electrical discharged machines. Based on ideas which can only be offered by machine tool manufacturers, this machine was created by the integration of high dimensional technology, which leads the next generation market. We would like to introduce the V-Line Method Injection Molding Machine. The reason why Sodic continued to develop the injection molding machine was the numerous unsatisfactory comments made by customers saying that stable molding could not be performed by the general inline method molding machines. Sodic paid attention to the conventional screw pre-plastication method again and made great improvements with the unique technologies of Sodic to create this V-line method. In the inline method, a screw rotates, moves forward and backward to insert the molding material to perform the plasticization measurement and injection operation. In the inline method, the resin measured by the existence of a check valve flows backwards into the plasticization portion during injection. Moreover, sudden defects occur due to the variation in the amount of resin that flowed backwards. On the other hand, in the V-Line method, the resin can be plasticized stably by rotating the plasticization screw in a fixed position. The resin is stably supplied into the injection cylinder by the extrusion force of the plasticization screw and performs the measurement at the same time. When the plunger reaches the measured value, the plasticization screw moves forward to shut off the fluid path and the plunger moves forward to perform the injection without backflow. Sodic is proud of this V-Line method, since the plasticization and injection portions are separated. Stable plasticization, accurate measurements, and injection can be performed at all times. Compared with the inline screw, since the plunger which performs the injection is extremely short and lightweight, it demonstrates its best ability in high-speed injection molding of ultra-thin products and molding of ultra-small products. Now we will show you movement of each portion in more detail. First, the mold is closed and the clamping force is applied. The resin is supplied into the plasticizing cylinder from the hopper. The resin passes through the plasticizing cylinder by the rotation of the plasticization screw. While passing through, the resin is stably melted because the melting starting position and the completely melted position are always the same. Melted resin is supplied to the injection cylinder by the extrusion force of the screw. The plunger moves backwards with this resin to perform accurate measurement. After the plunger reaches the measured value, the screw moves forward to shut off the fluid path to prevent the backflow of resin. Subsequently, the plunger moves forward to inject the resin. After the injection is completed, the screw moves backwards to open the fluid path. The screw rotates again to supply resin into the injection cylinder. After the measurement, the screw moves forward to shut off the fluid path. In the V-Line method, the adoption of such a screw touch method shut off mechanism completely prevents the backflow of resin, which is regarded as a problem in the inline method. Since a non-friction plunger method is used, the holding pressure can also be controlled accurately. After the set cooling time has ended, the mold is open to remove the product. Subsequently, the mold closes again to repeat the same process. As shown above, the V-Line Method Injection Molding Machine performs stable plasticization, measurement, and injection at all times, and accurately seized the market needs to enable the production of stable molded products. 
Sodic is the leading manufacturer of NCEDM and high-speed milling centers. With these machines, molding which could not be performed with a conventional machine, such as magnesium molding and limb molding, can now be realized, not only plastic molding. This is the Sodic V-Line Method Injection Molding Machine.